Hi everyone, welcome into this week's my weekly CBS Fix. I hope you had a wonderful week. Hope you and your family are well. This week's Pasha Pasha is Bo Hashem tells Moshe he should come to Paro. He should forewarn him about all the upcoming plagues. And Hashem tells Moses, don't worry, I've hardened his heart, I've hardened the hearts of his servants. Why did I do all this? In order that you should be able to relate into your children's ears and your grandchildren's ears how I toyed with the land of Egypt in order that I should be able to put my wonders amongst them, in order that what? Yidatem k'ani Hashem, in order that you should know that I am Hashem, your God. So one of the main purposes then, of course, of the entire Exodus is not only that Paro should get his just desserts, get the, the, get the punishment he's actually deserving, but there's a secondary category. Even if Paro himself wasn't going to get the punishment he, that he deserved, Nevertheless, there was this, a greater picture at hand. What was the greater purpose over here? The greater purpose over here is that we, as the Jewish people, should be able to relate into the into the ears of our children and grandchildren everything that happened to Paro. Because what this is answering is, one second, if God is hardening Paro's heart, so then it's kind of not fair. Hashem is taking away his free will. He could have changed. He didn't change. But the answer is, Paro is kind of secondary here. The main thing was the Jewish people. That Hashem hardened Paro's heart in order that all these amazing wonders that the plagues were, they should be brought, the Jewish people witness them, and then pass it down from generation to generation, which is our obligation that we have every Passover, which we have every single day of the year. Now, but what's interesting, the one I want to ask you about is that the verse clearly says you should put say them over into your children's ears and your grandchildren's in order that what? In order that you should know that I am Hashem, your God. But really, the verse should have said, in order that they should know. Not in order that you should know. If you're telling them, then you know. So why does it say in order that you should know? And why does it say in order that they should know? The answer is very key. Is that anybody who teaches children, or whether you're a parent, or whether you're a teacher, whether you, whoever you teach, you have to be able to be a good salesman. You have to believe in the product that, that, you're, that you're selling. And if you don't know, you can't give it over to others. So how do you know? How do you, you have to learn. And how do you learn? There's so many books that are available today with, with all the details that happened in Egypt, whether it's the different Midrashic books, or, but they all have all the details about all the plagues and everything. And this is so vital to us as a nation, who we are, what it is that we stand for. And it's our obligation. This is one of the mitzvahs in the Torah. And when we tell our children about how Hashem toyed with the Egyptians, like a like a kid on like a, like a like we said like a kid on an anthill, you know, he's it's so easy. The ant there's there's no there's no there's no battle at all. Hashem was battling with the Egyptians. There was no battle. He was just toying with them. And it is all Hashem did to display his on his might, and he was able to do it. Everything was at the word of Hashem. If Hashem willed it, it happened. And so therefore, we have to realize how important this mitzvah is. And it's upon, incumbent upon us to gain more and more information about this. Because this is who we are as, this is our identity as a nation. This is how we give over to our children who we are. And when Hashem took us out and why Hashem did this all for us. And so therefore, Hashem said, we that time in order that you should know. And so therefore, get busy studying. There's a lot of information over there. But then one day when your children and grandchildren will ask you questions, you can't say, oh, I, I don't know, I, I, so I heard, I heard, the, you know, I heard some information. You got to be have a, you have to pack a good punch for them. And order you teach them, the more you teach them, the more they'll be wowed. And the more they're wowed, they'll carry that on to the next generation, which is something that we have to do as Jewish people. Thank you for listening. Have an amazing Shabbos.